Hey guys, welcome back. So got a review and demo for you today on the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector Broad Spectrum SPF 20. I have it in the color light. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review and demo videos for foundations. This is actually like not technically a foundation, but we'll talk about that in a second. So I'm gonna go over the claims. I'll show you a little demo, and then I'll just give you my overall thoughts and impressions on how this delivers on the claims and what I'm thinking about it. So let's jump into it. So the price on this is $34 and you get 1.3 ounces of product or 40 milliliters. Now there is a big old long explanation about what this is and what it's supposed to do. So I'm gonna kind of like pick out the most important parts for you guys. So it says what it is, an oil-free hybrid complexion cream that instantly and completely blurs imperfections, evens out skin tone for a result that looks natural. So it's got, um, it's basically just supposed to even everything out, it's supposed to look very effortless, has SPF 20 in it, it's supposed to have the coverage of a sheer foundation, so they're not claiming any kind of like a full coverage, it's supposed to be more sheer. Um, it says there's no need for foundation, it's a one step and you're done, that's why it says one and done. It does say the innovative lightweight formula provides more coverage, hydration, and optical blurring than a BB or CC cream, so it's supposed to be kind of like a step up from those. And then it says, it transforms the look of your skin with light diffusing spheres so that flaws seem to disappear. Over time, pores appear smaller and skin looks noticeably firmer and more radiant. With a range of shades to cover a wide spectrum of skin tones, this oil-free formula is infused with nourishing ingredients, including peptides, vitamins, and moisturizers. Sourced from the Wu Zhu Yu plant, Gutoline radiances improve the look of radiance, tone, and texture. So lightweight coverage, SPF, it's supposed to improve your skin over time. So a lot of big claims there. So we're gonna get into the demo and then I'm gonna come back to the claims and give you my overall review at the end. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer and interestingly enough, I find that this foundation works better for me without a primer and I have no idea why, but it seems to last better on its own. So I'm just gonna take some of the product. I'm using a flat angled kabuki from Beauty Junkies. I'm just gonna get um, a couple of pumps on my brush and just apply this. I really like how it applies with a brush. Um, I actually have not tried it with a beauty blender, but I just prefer brushes. I'm faster with them, so I really like it. So I'm just gonna apply one coat. And even with one coat, if I just kind of dab my brush in the area where I want a little bit more coverage, it really does do a pretty good job of covering that up fairly well. So here is one coat. So you can see it is more of a light coverage, but it's very skin-like. I mean, it really just perfects the look of your skin. So if you're wanting something for just quick and every day, I mean, you could just apply one coat and walk out the door like this, you know, I mean, probably not with the like way overdone eye look, but if you're going for the no makeup makeup look, you could just do the one coat and be good to go. So I'm gonna apply one more coat to let you see how that looks. So after two coats, you can see that you can still see my under eye circles, some discoloration, various places on my face. So while this product can be built up a little bit, it really is only going to get to that light to medium sort of coverage. You're still gonna see some of your imperfections showing through. So if you're wanting like a full, full coverage, this is not the product for you, or you would wanna bring in a concealer or something like that to get to that coverage level. So, but you can see what it looks like after one and two coats. It definitely looks very skin-like, but it's not that full coverage. It's definitely supposed to be more of that light to medium kind of coverage. So, okay, I'm gonna finish out the rest of my makeup and I'll come back for the rest of my review. So back to the claims on this product. I think it really does deliver on most all of its claims. I can't really speak to the overtime improving your skin claim because I haven't really tried it out long enough to be able to give it a fair shot as far as that goes. 
but I mean, it is SPF. It's got that in there. It's oil free. It does give you that um, sheer coverage like it's saying. It's not saying it's a full coverage, so it delivers on that. Um, as far as doing more like blurring and better coverage and all that, more so than other BB and CC creams, I think that's kind of dependent on what you're comparing it to. Like the IT Cosmetics CC cream definitely has more coverage than this does, so I prefer that over this. But there are other BB creams and CC creams that have less coverage and less blurring and just don't seem as good as this. So I think it kind of depends on what you're comparing it to as far as that goes. So I really do feel like, you know, it's pretty much delivering on most of its claims. When I kind of read over it again, yeah, I think it does. And then as far as how this has been performing on my combo oily skin and just my overall impressions and review on it, I like this for what it is. Just that easy, everyday, light coverage, sort of a foundation look. I like it for that. Um, and it's really kind of interesting. For me, I have found that this is really dependent on how I prep my skin and then also how my skin is that day because my skin is different every day. Some days it's super oily, some days it's very normal. It just kind of depends. Weirdly enough, I found that this works better for me without a primer. I don't know if it just adheres to my skin better without a primer. I'm not sure why, but no primer seems to work better for me with this product. And it definitely seemed to last better, seemed to last, seemed to last better? Yeah, seemed to last longer, yeah, <laughs> on the days that I was less oily. So the oily day, there was one day that I was really oily and I wore a primer and it broke down around my nose, my chin, just didn't last very well. I was looking pretty oily. But then the next day I was less oily, didn't use a primer and it wore really well. So I think as far as how this is gonna work for you, it's gonna depend on your particular skin type and experimenting with different like prepping sort of steps and see what works best for you. I think that's true of any foundation review. You're going to have to think about your own particular skin type and your, you know, what you're looking for, what your skin needs, and just kind of experiment with it. But this has just been my experience with it. So overall, I'm liking it for what it is. It's not like a holy grail. Oh my goodness, I can't live without it but I do like it. All right guys, so that wraps up my review and demo on the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried this product, what you think about it, what is your skin type and how is it kind of working for you. I think that's always helpful for all of us, everybody reading the comments, I think it kind of helps to hear different people with their skin type and what they're looking for and kind of their experiences. So I would love to know your thoughts. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!